Here's how to change or switch your Apple ID account on your iPhone. Now, if you're on your iPhone and you have multiple different Apple ID accounts, you can always swap from one over to the other. I'll show you how to do it. But first, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks, guys. Now, let's just head into the settings app here. And the first thing you need to do is tap on your name at the very top. You'll be able to see if I scroll down to the very bottom, I want to be able to sign out. However, it does say on here, sign out is not available due to restrictions. If that sign out button is grayed out, essentially all you need to do is go back out of here and the culprit is screen time. So tap on screen time here. And then we're gonna scroll down and on here, it's usually the change screen time passcode that is causing the issues. So we're gonna tap on that and we're gonna hit turn off screen time passcode. You're gonna have to enter in that passcode that you or someone else set and now that is turned off. Essentially now we can go back here, tap on your name at the very top. And now at the very bottom, you can see sign out. So let, for whatever reason, it keeps hopping to the top. Let's tap sign out here. And now it says enter Apple ID or Apple account password and turn off the find my iPhone. So you have to enter in that Apple ID password that you associate with this account. And essentially this will disable or sign you out completely on this phone. And then all you need to do is just on the same screen, sign back into a different Apple ID or Apple account. Now keep in mind, there are some limitations and restrictions to this. So if I go back out of here, keep in mind, I'll still have the same eSIM. My eSIM will work. My phone will work. Text messages will work. However, iMessages are linked to an Apple account, as well as all of the iCloud backup, all of the data, maybe the photos that are backed up, all of those different things. So essentially, you will lose some of that data, including your iMessages, your photos, your videos, all of those things. But things like your eSIM that are tied to your phone itself, the phone number, the text messages through your phone number, calls, all that stuff will still be on your phone. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the like button down below and leave a comment if you still have any questions. Thanks, guys.